Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Jubilee Field, the home of Three Bridges Football Club. Very grateful today for uh, Three Bridges uh, allowing us the opportunity to use their, their pitch and the close proximity to Gatwick Airport. So looking at the two, uh, looking at the, uh, the Collier's Wood side, in goal you've got Mackenzie Foley, but he was the goalkeeper for Sutton Common Rovers in the FA Cup. Right back is Callum Wilson, left back is Harry Murphy, who's featured twice against the Bulls this season, uh, and at the back is a standing captain today, Charlie Mart, alongside um, Daniel De Cruz. In midfield, we'll see former Chertsey Town midfielder Alfie Huckle link up with Jake Hill, uh, with Alex Nunez, who did score in the 5-2 victory against the Young Bulls, playing just advanced in the number 10. On the right, we'll see Romari Blankson, and on the left, the top scorer Ali Fafana, whilst through the middle will be Seb Osai Abengo. On the bench today, we've got Sid Dak. Ollie Thompson, very versatile. Ollie played centre half in that first game and actually played in goal the, the second game against the Bulls. Frankie Scott, who scored in the week, and sub goalkeeper Ben Roberts. The manager is Dame, Jamie De Cruz, the brother of Daniel. And uh, now we'll look at what Gary is lining up with today for the Jersey Bulls. So there's a couple of changes again for Jersey. We'll be starting off with Ewan van der Fleet in goal. I'm predicting it's going to be a 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3, depending on the circumstances. So Ewan will be in goal. Right back will be Johnny Lacane. Left back will be Frank Tobin, who replaces the injured Jay Giles. Uh, the captain there is James Kerray. Uh, he'll be played alongside young defender Sam Sutcliffe. In midfield, we'll have number six, Joe Kilshaw, partnering number eight, Adam Trotter. Uh, number 10 in the hole will be Carl Hines. Uh, points will be Lorn Bickley. Number seven, Fraser Barlow. And a full debut for number 11, Francis Lacamamati. On our substitutes bench today, we've got number 12, Jake Prince. Number 14, Cabin Nafka. Number 15, the inform Kieran Lester, number 16, the 17 year old Jack Lumsden, and number 17, the evergreen Kevin Nelson. And as always, our manager there, we can just see him in the back shot there, is, is Gary Freeman. Quite a lot of experience missing for the Bulls today. They've got um, Jay Giles, I mentioned earlier, Luke Campbell, so Sol Solomon, and Ruben Mendez all missing. Um, but we're away, we're away here in Sussex. Balls of a player down here in the box. It's looking like number seven, Fraser Barlow. As I say, Fraser making his uh, 30th start of the season uh, today and his 60th appearance for the club. And here is, it looks like a substitution, number eight. Jake Hills just waved his, um, waved the rolling fingers over to the bench and uh, grateful here for Collier's Woods uh, physio to support Kevin Nelson to come and check out Fraser Barlow and, and understand what he's done here. It's game over for Fraser Barlow uh, and it'll be probably uh, Jake Prince or Kieran Lester to come on. We'll wait and see what uh, what Gary decides to do there. So again, the centre-halves have come forward. Charlie Mart, Daniel De Cruz. Whilst Blankson's on the goalkeeper, putting Newman under some pressure. And there he is. He's headed it straight up in the air, unfortunately, into Van der Fleet's hands. That could have been a dangerous uh, dangerous moment for Bulls. And... Um, Ewan's looked to counter quickly, and uh, unfortunately, the good good defending there from Collier's Wood. Ball's just out in the stand here, where our cameraman, Andrew de Gavea, is uh, situated today in the shade. Yeah, just didn't get enough on it, Blankson, there. So let's see what Lekamamati's options are from this free kick. We know he can strike them. He's just in that little half and half position, which again, yeah, he's going to have to be. Uh, like a Marty goes to the shots. It's a good effort. Foley's down well. It's a great effort. It's a corner to the balls. Francis Lekamati is showing what he's all about on free kicks. Here's a replay again. Hits it hard and low. 
to the keeper's right. And credit to Mackenzie Foley. He got down, he got down well. Two, two hands on the ball. And there's Joe Kilshaw sliding in. Another player making his uh, debut season for the Bulls. The other one is uh, Jake Prince, who's actually made his 25th appearance of the season by coming on for that early substitute for, for Fraser Barlow. Here's Blankson. Overlapping run coming from Murphy. He's not looking for him. Blankson's cutting inside on his right foot. Looks to shoot. And the ball has been put into the net, but it's offside. It was a strange kind of uh, attempt there from Blankson. It was a half half shot, half trip. Ewan didn't know what to do with it. And uh, fortunately for the for the Bulls, it's, um, let's watch this again. Blankson, yeah, it looks like a through ball to Asaya Bengo. Or well, Fafana, well, it's Asaya Bengo that puts it in. Fafana put uh, Ewan under pressure. But thankfully, Ewan probably saw the flag out the corner of his eye go up there. Flick in there from Bickley. Is Trotter. Trotter, fine footwork, finds Bickley. Bickley goes left footed and it's into the side netting from Lorne Bickley. No, it's a save. It's just actually a save from Mackenzie Foley there. We'll just watch a replay of that again. Bickley just playing on the so shoulder. Good effort and it's a good hand, good right handed stop there from the young goalkeeper. Corner on the far, far side. Bulls third of the day. Francis Lekamati is going to take it. He's whipped it in. It's a good delivery. It's over the keeper's head and it's in. It's a goal. Lorne Bickley has scored to put the Bulls one goal to the good. 32nd minute. That man, Francis Lekamati, from the left-hand side, in swings it in. And Lorne Bickley has scored his 21st goal of the season. Here it is again. Keeper comes, keeper mistake. Bickley just heads it in at the far side. No one on that far post. The coach will be disappointed in himself for not protecting his far post. But it was a great delivery. Enticed the goalkeeper in. And Bickley was there to stoop a low header in to put the balls one goal to the good. So here's Sutcliffe into Kilshaw. Kilshaw plays the ball forward and unfortunately it's uh, lost possession. And here's Nunes. Skillful number 10. He's just too skillful for his own good there. He's complaining at someone, but you took the ball out of play, pal. It's a throw in to the balls. And Lacane into Lacamati. Lacamati, a little, little bit of skills, but he's lost the ball to that man, Nunez. Ball's putting him under good pressure there. Well done, Adam Trotter. Here comes Jake Prince. Jake Prince bulldozing his way through, and uh, Foley's well down to his left hand side there. Good work from Jake. Here's that replay of that Jake Prince shot. Stung the palms of Mackenzie Foley. Sure, Prince will be saying to him at some point, do you remember me? I'd say we're inside the last, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds of this half here as Jersey Bulls lead one goal, two nil at the moment. And there it is. It was right. That's it. It's half time, And uh, the Jersey Bulls are leading through that 32nd minute goal from Lorne Bickley. A corner came in from debutant Francis Lekakamati and uh, Bickley stooped in to head home to put the Bulls one goal to the good. And the referee's just counting up, make sure that we've got 11 on each side. He's happy with that. About to get underway. We're off. Early touch in the second half of Ewan van der Fleet. He's got the sun behind him now, so that's good. I'd be interested to see which way that light breeze is going. Here's Jake Prince. Prince sidesteps Alfie Huckle in midfield. Knocks the ball out wide to the Kane. Kane's looking up. He's put the ball into the box. And here's Bickley. Bickley's got underneath that one, unfortunately. And uh, headed high over the bar. He's uh, acknowledging the cross from the Kane. From that wide right. Le Kane, he's, a, he's, he's a, certainly a very good provider of assists. From that right back or right wing back, whatever position he's asked to fill. Johnny normally does it with immense accuracy on that right hand side. So five minutes into the second half. Still balls lead, one goal to nil at Jubilee Field. A decent kick from Foley deep into the ball's half. We got a little bit of wind with him there because Van der Fleet was kicking into the actual opposite penalty box. Is Tobin. Tobin's not dealt with that very well. 
And that's, that could be a penalty, and it is a penalty. Terrible defending from, uh, from Frank Tobin there. Frank should have dealt with that. The ball should have gone out of play. Instead, he's given an opportunity for... Uh, yeah, look at this. Fafana, that ball should have just gone. Fafana's done well. Not strong enough from Tobin. And then all of a sudden, Johnny Lecane's left a... Uh, sorry, uh, James Kerry's left a foot out. And I don't believe it's an injury. James Kerry's appealing for the uh, for, for it to be a free kick and to talk to your referee, uh, to your assistant. But the referee's not going to change his mind. We know what referees are like. Once they make the decision, we'll look at this back on a VO later and uh, get a little bit more height from the camera. But the penalty's been given. And now... Is it the day for Ewan van der Fleet to save his first ever league penalty? So it's going to be the number nine, Sebastian Osei Abengo. Don't think this will be placed. I think it's going to be power. And it is. It's power down into the bottom corner. He's got the ball thinking, I'm going to win this game now for the Colliers Wood. So, yet again, the balls don't keep a clean sheet. Ewan van der Fleet stays on 32 clean sheets for the club. He's not going to see clean sheet number 33 today as he's sent the wrong way by Seb Osai Abengo, netting his sixth goal of the season. Second goal uh, this season against the Bulls. He scored the second goal in their 5-2 victory in the Premier Cup. Hopeful pass into the middle. It's, it's uh, found Blankson. He's not looking for his left back, M uh, Murphy. Murphy knocking the ball forward. That's good skills from Huckle. Huckle puts the cross in, and Osaya Bengo is going to be disappointed with that. He's put the ball over the bar. Uh, but that's good, good play from Collier's Wood. Alfie Huckle went round the back there. And just an outstretched foot from Osaya Bengo. Might have had a time to take a touch before uh, calming himself there, but equally, he was stretched. And the feet kicks the ball long, and it's Jake Prince wins the header. He's found Lorne Bickley. Lorne Bickley breaking into the box. On the left-hand side, Bickley has a shot. It's brave goalkeeping from Mackenzie Foley, and it's gone over, and the referee is a given a goal kick. I thought Foley did get uh, a touch on that. We'll see in a minute, but powerful running there. Um, Bickley on the cruise, and yeah, no, it just went inside the near post. Lorne Bickley's left foot. Brings the ball forward into the Collier's Wood half. Finds Frank Tobin, the left back. Tobin cuts inside to Trotter. Trotter looks up. Goes into Hines. Hines into Lekamati. lekamati has gone round one. He's gone round. He's cut to the box. He's crossed the ball in. And that's great defending. And it's ultimately gone back into Mackenzie Foley's arms. Um, that was a great run from Fran Francis Lekamati. And uh, he got, oh, sorry, they got extremely lucky there when the ball comes back off. Number five, Charlie Mark, the skippers, into the grateful arms of Foley. Prince and Lekamati have uh, changed wings now. Jake Prince to naturally go down his right-hand side. Francis can cut in on his right foot on this, this other side. Ball's chipped forward. Good save there from Foley. Here comes Jake Prince. He's shot from a, a, a narrow angle. It smashed the post and come back out there. I thought it was a real tight angle for Jake to take the opportunity on there, but fair play. It smashed the post. And Jake doesn't get his fifth goal of the season for the Bulls. Good hold up play there by the striker, substitute Frankie Scott. Knocks it back to Charlie Mart, the skipper, who finds Murphy, the left back. Murphy back to Mart. Mart into Hill. He'll flick the ball on, but Bulls have won the ball back. This is probably one of the higher places that the Bulls have won possession. Here's Trotter into Hines. Trotter once more plays the ball into to Bickley. The big man's turned. Got a shot away, but again, it's great defending there. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's Charlie Mark, the skipper. Did really well on Lord Bickley. This is the attempt there from Trotter. And watch this from Jake Prince. Swivels, bang, smashes the uh, outside of the post and out of play. Very acute angle. Trotter plays it through to midfield to Nafka. Nafka turns out. He's gone past one man. He plays it out wide. Here's Lacane. Lacane floats the ball, tries to float the ball forward, but it's great defending from the wood. 
And there it is. It's full time here at Three Bridges. The final score, Jersey Bulls 1, Colliers Wood United 1. Lorne Bickley opened the scoring for the Bulls from the corner, headed in in the 32nd minute. And in the 52nd minute, there was a foul by James Kerre on Ali Fafana and upset Sebastian Osai Obengo to net his um, fifth goal, sixth goal of the season, sorry, uh, to give the Wood a point at Jersey. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening in. Uh, disappointing result for the Bulls, but we look forward to seeing you all again on Wednesday night when we host Ballam at Ascot United's Racecourse Ground. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.